There she is. This thing's pretty light. Oh, listen to that. Just purrs like a kitten. It's one time turning radius. Let's do it again. What's up everybody, Derek here, and today we are gonna be having some fun fishing and testing out a new outboard motor. I got this sucker for 300 bucks from Amazon, came in the box. I wanna say it was a Wang Kai, but I can't remember what brand it is, but we're gonna break into this thing, get it all set up because over here, we got the Pelican Bass Raider. We're gonna put that thing on. It's a four horsepower. I think it weighs like 30 pounds. Everybody knows I've got my mud motor. That's like a, a six and a half horse gas lawnmower engine for the most part. It came from Harbor Freight. And that thing can go in super shallow water, but the thing is, is I like to go down to the water and that thing can be kind of bulky and a little bit awkward to carry around a lot of times. And with this thing being so much lighter at four horsepower and being a four stroke, that maybe we can use this thing and do some experiments, maybe boost it up a little bit with maybe an exhaust or maybe a new carb. I have no idea, but we definitely can get into this thing and see what we can do and what it does on the water and go fish a little bit. So let's break this thing open and start getting it set up right out of the box. All right. Lots of styrofoam already. Ugh. So it's packaged well. And there she is. Wow, that's pretty sweet looking. It's already set up and ready to rock and roll. Ugh. Of course, we're gonna have to put on our you know, our handle and we got a kill switch and all that. Man, this thing looks sweet. It's pretty light. I'm just holding it up here with one arm. I bet this thing's gonna be loud though. Get our tools out that they give us. Looks like some wrenches, a funnel. Directions. And will this thing fit on the side here? So it's got quite a bit of adjustment there for getting hooked up onto a boat or on a transom. But I mean, this thing's pretty light. It's got a nice little lower unit here. And I don't know if the motor ends up going out or if you could find a, a bolt up or find some kind of deal. It's got a machine block here. I bet you could figure out a way to put a bigger motor on this thing. Maybe even a bigger lawnmower engine. Look at that prop. Decent sized prop. It's metal. Feels like that's aluminum. I could probably get a, a magnet and make sure that little cotter pin down there. Yeah. All right. Put this thing on the side here. There it is. Okay, looks like we got gas goes in here. Um, I'm assuming this probably, I haven't even looked at directions, but I'm assuming it doesn't come with oil in it because then you wouldn't be able to ship it like they do. Oh, dang, that's on there tight. Um, am I wrong? Am I wrong? Well, Let's see here. Yeah, it does have some oil, but it looks like they probably filled it up, ran it a little bit at the factory or wherever they do this thing at, and then they drained it down. So as you see that reflection there, it does have some lubrication on the inside, but it's not enough. So I may want to read the directions because that might be smart. All right, I read the directions on this thing and it didn't say anywhere for adding oil, but after looking at the dipstick and taking a look at it, 
it looks like it's got a little bit of reflection but it's actually really dry so i'm gonna put some oil in here i got this 5w30 here so i'm just gonna add a little bit and make sure this thing's topped off right we got our gas so leaves us with the uh the throttle oh yeah we good we probably have a little bit too much oil in there but it ain't gonna hurt anything right now uh all right, we can add gas here in a second, but I want to show you. <clears throat> the way this throttle is set up, it looks like it's got a clicker. So it's kind of like a cruise control. And I bet this thing is going to be loud because that's the exhaust. It's got a little baffle right here, but it comes straight out the side. So this thing's going to be noisy. So basically, if you look at this throttle, that is idle. So if you increase the speed, there you go, stays in place, just a clicker, it holds. And if you look over here, as I turn it right here, it pulls down on the throttle, increases. So pretty simple setup. Now we got a kill switch here, which is great. You got to have that. So we just basically got to bolt this thing up and it comes with the wrenches for it. Leave. Where's this thing hook up? I didn't even look at the directions on how it. Right there. Is that it? Um. Yeah, I believe that's it. Well, no, because it actually goes towards the front position. Cause that would be props down there, pointing that way. So. Yeah, it goes like that. Here we are. So, that's, uh, I don't know if I like that. Well, it's got a holder for it, so it can't get any lower. It's got a little knob that sticks out, so I guess we need to put that right there and then tighten it down because it wasn't all the way up against it. So, now that that's in place, we can try to start this thing. We want to start this thing up now. It's full of oil. It's got gas. We got our our throttle hooked up. I don't like the nut and bolt that's on here. I'll probably have to put some Loctite on here because if it vibrates too much, this thing may come out. And then, then how are you going to drive it? But I think we got the choke set right. I think this thing's ready. Let's see how hard kill switch is in. Let's see what it does. Oh my Right off the bat Just one pull Okay It's got to have a clutch in this thing I don't know much about this thing yet The prop's not spinning as you can see down there Let's see Will it start spinning Yes It has a, it has a, a clutch in here Looks like Give it a little more gas, same gas, yeah, start to engage with that RPMs of the motor. Man, this thing's pretty quiet. Wow. That's gonna be awesome. And it's air cooled, so it run on like this doesn't do nothing to it. All right, guys, we made it down to the river and we got the motor all hooked up on there. We did bring the trolling motor just in case something does happen with this thing and we can get back, but it sits a little bit lower than, uh, you know, some of the other ones, but I think we've got it down in the water just far enough down in there. But what's pretty cool is this thing does tilt and trim, tilt and tilt up, I guess I should say doesn't really want to hold into place so i'm gonna to have to figure this out i brought a tie down strap with me just in case but oh it's holding right there but it may just kind of pop back if the boat would move a little bit so we're gonna go around in this little deep section down in here 
and just kind of put around and see how it does I don't know I think it's gonna be doing just fine for a four stroke four horsepower so alrighty let's get this hooked up all right I'm gonna have to put this around my wrist in case I fall out this thing will cut off so I'll just put it around my wrist put it like this so it's decently tight okay all right there we go pull that tight yep ain't going nowhere still got control all right this thing should fire right right up I think oh. put my hand there oh listen to that just purrs like a kitten gonna keep it from all right no no strap needed now and then if you need to you can lock it in to straight position right there man I'm liking this thing all right here we go tight turn circles wow that'll make you dizzy like that just pull the kill switch 
Well guys, I almost don't know what to even say about this thing. This little motor is awesome. For 300 bucks, it's not as loud as I thought. It's probably gonna get awesome mileage. Um, you can bring a little, another little external can and just keep filling it up, but it pushes me along just at the perfect speed. It's gonna save the trolling motor, so I only need one battery pretty much all the time and I could fish all day and when I'm needing to move spots I can move spots on the river with this thing but not bad I, I have to say for this little boat this is a $650 little Pelican Bass Raider with a $300 motor and a $200 trolling motor get you a hundred dollar battery I mean for a thousand bucks I can fish miles of river now. I know that my other motor, which is actually the uh, the swamp motor or long tail motor, whatever you want to call it, the mud motor, is actually a really good motor and it pushes this thing up and it gets it up on plane and you can really move, but it is so much heavier than this thing. That thing, I can basically pick it up with one hand. The other one's a two-hander for sure. and. The handle comes way out here. You got to worry about the tail shaft way back there. So tight turns, other places on the river like this. And if you've got shallow spots, I can actually drag the boat through and then start this thing back up and go from one hole to the next. Perfect. Well, guys, we are going to be doing a lot more trips with this motor, and I am happy all in all. So thanks for watching and subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.